So news came out that Michigan, at the time of this recording, it's Tuesday afternoon, that Michigan will be receiving um, a letter of allegations from the NCAA. Now, some of it's kind of been leaked a little bit. One of the infractions that doesn't have to do with the sign stealing is that a recruit or several recruits, there's mixed stories going around right now, um, met some of the coaches at a restaurant and the coaches uh, provided a discounted meal. So that, that part is just stupid. Like the NCAA, that's just them trying to find busy work. Um, in my opinion, I don't get that, but I digress. Um, going to the Connor Stallions sign stealing scandal, the, I get what, what they're saying is the NCAA is saying Connor Stallions didn't cooperate. And what sucks is that we can't find out, we can't ask the coaches and the players any questions because during an investigation they have to keep quiet so really just hoping for this thing to finally be over with so we can hear everybody else's perspectives but from inside sources they they went through all of the phones all of the emails and they found no correlation with any staff member being involved with Connor Stallions paying people to sit in the stands with their iPhones and record opposing team signals. There was no correlation. And I this whole thing, like, you can see your opponent's signals on film. And then there's the question, oh, well, then why did Connor, you know, why did he pay people? Why why is he paying people to go to games then? You you research and you look up Connor was a smart guy. Very smart guy. He wanted to be a football coach ever since he was young. And doing research, he found that all the greatest coaches had military backgrounds. So he got into Michigan, elected to go to the Naval Academy, then got into the program. I think his salary was like 50, 55K a year as an assistant. And I think what a lot of people are forgetting here, many, if not all college football programs, have a group of people that their job is to steal signs and decode things from their opposition. Like it is not illegal to steal signs. The thing that the rule that Michigan broke that they found no correlation with anyone with stallions is that he had people go to games and sit there on the sideline and record with their iPhone, you know, the cards that are being held up. So this whole thing's getting, so blown out of proportion, but I can understand from a, you know, an Ohio state, a Michigan state, that perspective of, Oh my God, they're cheaters. This is the biggest scandal of all time. It's not, it's not. And I'm really excited to see what the allegations say later this week, just so we can get a better idea of what to expect. I know there's the rumor that, the NCAA is going to give Michigan a postseason ban for two years or something like that, but then the NCAA is a different uh, entity than the college football playoffs, so that wouldn't even, what they say, wouldn't even be ruled for the college football playoff. I don't know what else, if they're going to like suspend staff again, something like that. Um, like what with what they did with Harbaugh, I guess that was Tony Petiti, but... Um, this whole thing's just getting so blown out of proportion now. The whole idea that, oh, well, you know, Michigan's going to return to to poverty after this year or this season upcoming. Like, they didn't have Jim Harbaugh for their last three games of the year. And so all this, oh, well, they had to steal signs. Okay, well, Penn State, Maryland, Ohio State all changed every sign. And I'm assuming... Penn State, Maryland, and Ohio State all had signs of Michigan's that they were trying to decode. Like, they beat those teams without their head coach, and their acting head coach was also the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coach. Oh, and then they went on and beat Alabama and retired Nick Saban, and then they beat Washington brutally in the national championship game. So, 
My opinion, it's, again, I want to see what the allegations are from the NCAA. The whole, like, the thing about the burger that got leaked, that is just the stupidest thing ever. The fact that they're pursuing that and they're just trying to find ways to fill up their day. Like, oh, well, they got a discounted burger. Like, if you go into any program in college football, and I don't know if it's if they're if they're just going hard at Michigan because Jim Harbaugh was the first one to advocate for players getting revenue sharing. I think that's part of it. Um, you deep do a deep dive and an and an investigation with a professional firm into any college football program, you will find violations everywhere. Everywhere. So. If Michigan, if it's found out that anyone knew what Connor Stallions was doing and was a part of it on the coaching staff or in the building, those people should be, you know, kicked off, kicked off the team. They should be, you know, whatever punishment the NCAA wants to give them. But they haven't found, again, they haven't found any correlation with Harbaugh knowing it, Sharon Moore, any of these guys, and all the... The pictures on the sidelines of, oh, well, you see Connor Stallings, he's, he's trying to tell Jesse Minner that, you know, this plays that, that plays that. Yeah, every team has sign stealers. The problem is not that. It's that he had people go to games with an iPhone and record, which does, it doesn't even make sense. You can see that stuff on film. So, I don't know. Those are my thoughts on it. Again, we're going to see what the allegations say. Sometime later this week, um, again, recording this on Tuesday afternoon. So who knows how soon it will come out after this. But oh, oh, and then I forgot we have the uh, the sign stealer documentary on Netflix, August 27th. So that should be pretty interesting. And I know it's on Twitter right now. You're getting a lot of Michigan State and Ohio State people mad at Central Michigan because there's that photo of a guy on a sideline allegedly being Connor Stallions. And Central Michigan's just been, like, crickets about it, no matter how much they've gotten pressed. So still a lot of layers to uncover here, but the sign-stealing documentary will be interesting, and the allegations later this week will be interesting. But this whole thing's so blown out of proportion, and we're seeing so much hyperbolic language about oh you got to vacate the wins and you got to vacate the title like none of that's going to happen and if you deep dive into any college football program you're going to find violations of some sort so yeah everybody's just got to settle down on this um we'll see what we have later in this week that comes out on it but as of right now this is just it's people are going crazy over it